What up dudes? Alright, I'm off to go and collect a whole bunch of games. Xbox, PS3, uh, an old Xbox 360 uh, from a buyer on eBay. It was all going quite cheap because it's pickup only and they're about oh, 50 minutes away. So no one else really bidded on it except for me because I'm not too far. So yeah, kind of won on that one. So yeah, I'm going to go pick that up. Once I grab that lot, I'll show you guys what I got. I'm a little bit nervous I've looked at some used games recently and I know there's money in them but a lot of them are in really bad condition like scratched, scuffed, you just can't sell them so I'm a little bit um, a little bit nervous about this buy because it's yeah no photos of the discs uh, on the sale so they reckon they're in good condition. I'll have a look, I'll film that once I grab that and uh, we'll see what I get. Alright let's go. And this is what it can be like going to pick up some eBay stuff in Australia. Holy <laughs> Oh man, I feel like a hobbit venturing to the top of the mountain to throw the ring in. Only the rings, Xbox and PS3. Yeah, One it's country! It's All those right grapes. Now, he's joining you uh, to try to relating. Uh, That's a lot of wine. Alright guys, so here's what I picked up from my adventures through Mordor to Mount Doom. <laughs> so I picked up the Xbox 360. That was 25 bucks. Doesn't come with um, any controllers. Comes with everything else plus the Kinect. Also picked up off the same person uh, 20 Xbox 360 games. I've just got them in piles of stuff I'd consider selling and a pile of stuff that I don't think I could sell. So uh, seven of the games from that lot are quite scratched and I just don't think I'd even bother selling them because if they don't work, then it's not worth the hassle. Uh, the rest of the games, 13 games left, um, worth selling. So I'll run through what I think I'm going to get for those. So for the 20 games, it was $31, which works out to be $1.55 a game, which I didn't think was too bad. I'm new to selling games, so you could be sitting back thinking, well, that's crap. I don't know. Let, let me know. But yeah, so $1.55 a game. Some of them were these Steelbook uh, editions or limited editions. Fortunately, that one's, yeah, crap, so can't sell that. But... um. So that was that lot. I'll run through them in a sec. Second lot I got was from the same seller was 15 PS3 games. Fortunately, most of those are in really, well, fair condition, good condition, not many scratches, mainly finger marks. So I just need a bit of a clean up. So I got 15 games for $26.55, which works out to be $1.77 a game. Alrighty, so I'm going to run through this as quick as possible because, yeah, there are 15 in this lot. So, picked up this lot, as I said, for $26.55, works out at $1.77 a game, and most of those are in fairly good condition, only light, very light scratches or just finger marks. They will work. Um, I've got a PS3 anyway, so I'll test them out, just make sure. Alright, so what I'm going to do is going to go through each game and just from the comps that I've done, tell you what I think I can make from the game. Uh, I've considered that I'm going to add postage. So if there hasn't been any comps with postage, I've just taken that away from the price. Um, but yeah, so this is what I think I could make and I'll give you a total at the end. So we've got Call of Duty Black Ops, $6 off that. Driver San Francisco, eight bucks. Uh, F1 2010, dollar. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 2, dollar. I've been uh, fairly conservative with price. I've tried to pick sort of the medium to low end so I don't overestimate. Um, Battlefield 4, I've got $11. Avatar the game. $5. I have seen it as high as 12 with postage. Last Planet 2, 
a dollar. <laughs> and what do we got? Skylanders Giants, five bucks. Borderland two, five dollars. Time Crisis Raising Storm. I uh, got six bucks. Batman, the video game, we've got twelve dollars here. Bad Company, which I don't think I'll sell um, because that is in quite bad condition. That's I put a dollar, so not a massive loss anyway. All right, the next three I'm really excited about because they are quite a good uh, ROI on these. That's a bit funny with that light there. So Portal Two, that's anywhere from fifteen to twenty bucks. I've just put fifteen to be conservative, plus postage. The Simpsons game, that one is the best one. That's around the 45 to 50 mark plus postage. So I'll just put 45 down. And the last one here was Cars uh, cars from Disney Pixar, Raceorama. And that one was about 27. So with all the games, uh, I've been quite conservative with price. Obviously, the mid to low end plus considering postage. So off that lot of 15 games, all up comes to $128 if I sold them for the figures that I disclosed. So if we times that by 0 0.135, which is eBay, PayPal, you know, that's just for me, everyone else's could be a little bit different. That gives us $110.72. And then take away the actual initial price of twenty six fifty five leaves us with eighty four dollars and seventy four cents. So yeah, if they'd sell, there's uh, eighty four bucks up from the uh, initial investment and all the fees. So as I said with the PS three lot, all my prices was considering um, comps with postage. If they didn't have postage, I've just gone taken that out of the price. So all those prices I've listed. Uh, minus the postage all right so I got those games for 31 bucks after the eBay and PayPal fees and obviously the initial cost uh, left over with 69 bucks which isn't um, too bad so this was the bundle of 20 Xbox 360 games that I got there's actually one Xbox game in here but yeah mostly 360 so I've got 20 games for $31 in that auction, $1.55 a game, but remembering that seven of those games are, are crap. They're really scratched up bad. I'd have to get them uh, fixed up to consider selling them. So these are the ones that I thought weren't too, in weren't too bad condition. All right, so I'll run through these. So we've got Connect Adventures. That's not even worth selling, so I'll put zero. Borderlands, a pre-sequel, that one was a couple of bucks. Army of Two, four dollars. Skate Three wasn't too bad for the uh, comps on that one, about twenty-five bucks. Uh, Call of, of Duty Black Ops Two in a steel case there, about twenty bucks. Uh, Fallout New Vegas, another twenty, which is pretty good. Injustice, um, Gods Among Us, that one I've got five. Borderlands 2, about 10 bucks. Batman, Arkham, uh, Arkham Origins, I hope I'm saying that right. Got $10 on that. Um, Halo 2 Collector's Edition in the steel case there, 15. We come over here, Battlefield. Uh, Battlefield 3, 2 bucks, not much on that one at all. Um, Batman, Arkham Asylum, uh, what have I got there? 3 bucks. That. Titanfall, 10, not too bad. Fighter and Cage, another Kinect game, yeah, not great. Um, we've got $3. Halo 4, 2 bucks, not too great either. Halo 3, uh, that one was five, and the last one was Skylanders Trap Team, had ten bucks on that. And for those that might be interested, these were the games that really scratched that I just can't can't sell in the current condition. So, 
Yeah, they are if you want to have a look. You might be able to tell me what they're worth. Hopefully not too much. <laughs> I know there was a... I can just tell from that one because that's a 10, but it is in pretty bad. Pretty bad nicks, a bit crushed up. So yeah, they, they were the ones out of the whole lot that, uh, yeah, wouldn't even bother selling to scratch. Thanks for joining me for my adventure up to Mount Doom. Uh, as you can see, there is a little bit of money to be made from video games. I'm just starting off with that sort of stuff because I haven't, haven't sold video games before. Who knows, those figures that I threw out, hopefully uh, in line with what I'll get back. Could be less, could be a little bit more. There's going to be a bit of work involved um, with cleaning those up and getting them ready to get out, and also just testing a few to see if they're okay as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I've got a few other videos coming out soon. I've just got to get around to editing them and just making them look nice and, and presentable. So once that's done, I'll uh, upload them. But thanks for joining me again, and uh, I hope that's, that's something you enjoyed. And if you've got any sort of video game haul uh, stories or anything to do with video games and reselling, let us know in the comments below, because I'd love to hear about it. But yeah, thanks again, guys. Catch you later. Bye.